Those are the hubcaps. That's pretty cool. Center caps. GL10 with a sunroof. Still has stock stereo with a trip odometer. Let's see what you can see in there. It's the best you can get right now. Still has a lap belt, no head cushions. Oh my god, it did have head cushions. That means gotta get back seats from GL10. Whoa! Yeah, it's getting pretty bald. Subaru GL10. It's gonna need tag soon, too. This one's all right. It's starting to show its age. All power locks and windows. Something I wish I had. Now look at this. Down there. You can see that. But that's uh, temperature gauge, oil pressure, and uh, voltage. Rear gate, there's a switch for the rear gate, right? Right. Right there, in the rear gate. Hmm. This is so excited to rain my Subaru had a had rumble seats in it. It's got two hundred and forty seven thousand miles. And I'm thinking that rear gate switch, you put that on and then the trunk pops open. I don't know what else it could be. It's got cruise control, five speed, um, chest manual seat belt, so. If I was to guess, I guess it's an 80. Nope, it's got to be an 86. Has all the st steering wheel. Rear wiper, so has all the switches, AC. Back another day, to get a better look. Oh, I'll crack on it too. Got the roof rack, but does it have the back seat? Yep, it's got the back seat vents. Just like mine. But they want some outrageous for it, like 2,000 or 2,500 or 3,000. But it's on Craigslist. The girl's in better shape. Oh well. I'll be back. It doesn't have the the airbag suspension that, that will go out. So this got to be an 86. Don't know if it's turbo though. I don't think so. It doesn't say turbo on it anywhere. I wish I could live without turbo. I just like to have the power options. Ooh, it's got some rust going on. Someone must have hit it. And someone stole the logo too. What a travesty. Oh, that's enough. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Yep, that's what it looks like down in there. And half of that is why I, I missed with the Eureka. The other half I just didn't, like the first half the Eureka just went over and didn't get. The other half I just forgot to go over with the Eureka. So take it with a grain of salt. Um, my verdict goes with the Bissell with the better vacuum. It's lighter, quieter, better built. It doesn't fall apart. Um, everything's better except for... This one doesn't have a light, but big whoop. I got one, actually, I got another one like this that does have a light. I haven't tried it out yet, though. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, whatever.